Let's see what we can predict using shopping data. I'm pretty sure if we buy stuff, then it leaves a trail about us and it says something about us. So let's go to Target. No matter what we buy, we do leave a trail, a trail of which product or whatever we do. Let's look at our shopping basket. You can tell what's in here. Any idea what this tells about our family that we are currently shopping for? Obviously, um, diapers, size one. That means a very newborn baby. And yes, maybe that baby might not actually be breastfed because we are actually buying the bottle. Oh, look at this. Like there might be a dog either in the household that buys that stuff or the household that had uh, just gotten the baby. And yes, we do like, as it seems, also sparkling water. All of those are tiny little clues, which you're leaving if you are actually um, buying things. So Target, like many other stores, analyze your shopping behavior and try to figure out what are you going to buy next. There is not such a thing as harmless data. You are leaving a trail and a computer is meant to find those tiny clues within the trail. And yes, this might be very, very obvious, but other things are less obvious. You use shopping behavior to understand what you're going to buy in the future. And then you target people. No matter whether we are talking target and buying things, or whether we think about Amazon and buying things, or whether it's our movement patterns, we are leaving data trails everywhere. And it's not a point that you can't predict. Sure you can. Computers are meant to find those tiny clues. It is important how we use the data and for what reason. And the important part for us as society is to figure out what is good targeting or what's good use of data and what's bad use of data. And that's the reason why we do this course. 